Alright, so let's talk about The Rescuers. So, um, you know, it's another Disney movie. It's, um, yeah, it's kind of uh, one of the movies that kind of marks their uh, decline during the 70s and 80s. Um, but, you know, um, I mean, I can't really say any of the uh, previous ones were that mediocre aside from Aristocats, but, um, but yeah, this one's, uh, definitely not their best, but, um, I don't know, it, it wasn't bad either. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I guess I'll get right to the plot, so we, uh, yeah, we have a little girl who was kidnapped by, uh, you know, this, uh, evil lady named Madame Medusa, who's, uh, yeah, trying to use her to, uh, you know, climb down this really tiny well that only a child could fit in, and, yeah, because apparently there's, like, this really valuable diamond down there, I don't know how she found out about it, yeah, I don't know, some kind of map, maybe, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> so yeah um, Medusa and her uh, partner Mr. Snoops uh, you know they or you know they're holding her hostage so she sends out an SOS and a bottle down the uh, yeah down the river or whatever yeah um so uh yeah, soon some mice happen across it, and, uh, you know, you know, they take it to this, uh, little mouse organization that, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, underneath the, uh, United Nations, um, yeah, what are they called again, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the Rescue Aid Society, and, you know, they're, <clears throat> you know, they got this, uh, charming little concept that, you know, uh, <clears throat> despite being little mice, they, uh, do what they can to rescue people in need, you know, um, but, you know, it's also a cheesy concept, no pun intended, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's cute. Um, and then, you know, they, uh, they look for volunteers to go look for this girl, Penny, and, uh, you know, this, uh, female mouse named Bianca volunteers, and, you know, they, uh, um, you know, they decide that, uh, I guess one of the guys should go with her, and, uh, well, she picks, um, a janitor named Bernard. So, yeah. And they point out, uh, you know, a female and a, and a janitor heading out to, you know, do this important mission. Yeah. Yeah, when you think about it, this plot's pretty dumb. <laughs> um, so, let's see, uh, I mean, I can't really get much into details. They go out and save her from the evil lady and her vicious alligators. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, along the way, you know, they befriend this uh, albatross um, who kind of serves as, like, he's kind of like, a pilot and the plane at the same time, and, uh, yeah, once they're out at the swamp lands, they, uh, yeah, befriend all these, uh, you know, swamp animals, and, you know, they're, like, stereotypical hill hillbillies, um, and, yep, I guess, yeah, it's a pretty simple story and uh, there's not a whole lot to it 
but yeah. It has some nice animation, and you know, the opening credits are nicely animated. Um, or actually, uh, well, it's mostly like fancy stills, but you know, they use some unique motion. Uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll get into the characters. We have Bernard, voiced by Bob Newhart. Um, and, you know, um, I guess the character is pretty similar to the character that Newhart usually plays. You know, this, uh, you know, somewhat, uh, um, what's the word? Is it, uh, neurotic? Is that, is that the right word to use? Uh, uh, t yeah, definitely neurotic. Um, and, uh. And, you know, he's insecure, socially awkward, etc. Um, and then we have Ava Gabor as Miss Bianca, who, uh, you know, it's it kind of feels like the same character she played in Aristocats. You know, she's uh, this uh, attractive-looking, uh, white, furry creature who might get some... Uh, yeah, who might make some dudes question their sexuality for furry animals, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, and like Aristocat, she's pretty flirty. Actually, she's, like, really flirty in this. Like, she spends the whole movie, like, yeah, just basically throwing herself at Bernard. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, they're kind of a cute couple, it's... It's just that they don't do much with, you know, their supposed romance. Um, let's see. Medusa was a pretty entertaining villain, even if she's kind of a rip-off of uh, Cruella. Or, you know, she's very similar to Cruella. Her personality is very similar. And, you know, her motives and, you know, all the stuff she does aren't nearly as interesting She's not nearly as memorable as Cruella, but she's still entertaining. The lady, the lady voicing her clearly had a great time with the role. Um, and yeah, I'd say uh, pretty much the same for uh, Mr. Snoops. Um, let's see, uh, Penny was just this uh, cute little uh, six-year-old girl who's clearly voiced by a six-year-old girl who has like no acting experience, but, you know, there's, there's been a couple Disney movies like that, um, you know, like, uh, Robin Hood, I know there was, like, a, like, this really young kid voicing the, uh, little girl, little bunny girl in that one, so, yeah, um, let's see, uh, and, yeah, the rest of the characters are, like, little one-off characters, or I guess, um, well, what's his name, uh, Orville, he's, uh, yeah, the Albatross, he's, he's pretty fun, um, not the best comic relief Disney character ever, but, you know, he works, I mean, his role's kind of minor in this, so, yeah, he's not in most of it, but still, um, maybe that's why he was, uh, yeah, tolerable, um, Nah, I think... I mean, as long as the char the voice actor isn't, like, going all over the top with the character. Um, yeah. I'm, in fact, there's probably a few really brief comic relief characters in other animated movies that are annoying for the brief screen time they have. Anyway. Um, eh. I don't know. I mean, this movie's kind of boring to talk about. Um... I mean, it's definitely not uh, the worst Disney movie I've seen so far. It's it's definitely better than Aristocats. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I I hear the sequel's better, and, you know, I've watched it. I've watched the sequel before, but, you know, i got to watch it again to, like, really, you know, know what I would give, what I would rate that movie with. But, yeah, as for this movie, it gets a 6 out of 10. It's, it's not bad by any means. It's just kind of... 
meh compared to some of the other Disney films. Um, I mean, is there much... Uh, I mean, um, aside from the nice animation and the somewhat cute, likable characters, um, there were a few funny moments. Like, I... Uh, um, like, the, there was this uh, scene where uh, Orville, like, he... Uh, they're in the middle of the swamp, and he tries to fly, but, uh, and it's like, uh, playing this, uh, you know, uh, epic music, and then he just falls, and, yeah, that's, uh, that joke's kind of ahead of its time, is what I'm saying, it, it feels like something you'd see in, like, a, you know, a new animated movie or something, but, uh, let's see, uh, and then not long after that, like, they're, uh, you know, they're, uh, riding down the river on this, uh, leaf boat thing, where this, uh, yeah, being, uh, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, with this dragonfly kind of piloting them, or I guess it's kind of like the motor, but, but yeah, the, like the, uh, what's her name, Bianca says, uh, oh, it's so foggy, you can barely see anything, and then, it, like, Penny's, like, right next to them, so, yeah, the girl they're looking for, it that gave me a little chuckle. Um, let's see. Um, aside from that, I mean, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about the movie. It's it's very simple. It's basic. It's, uh, but, you know, it's harmless. Um, a little overly cute, maybe. Um... But yeah, I, I don't have a whole lot to say about this one. It's pretty, uh, what's the... Yeah, it's pretty unremarkable. Um, but yeah, it's fine, and uh, I don't have uh, much else to say. So, yeah, as usual, if there's anything else I feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything that important. Maybe, like, some little tidbits that don't really matter. But anyway, yeah, I'll still put whatever I think of in the comments that I feel I should bring up. So anyway, yeah, I give this movie a 6 out of 10. I mean, you can check it out if you want. Yeah, I don't care. It's it's fine. Um, But yeah, I'll, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Mash it and smash it, signing off.